This visit has once again reaffirmed that our bilateral relations are based on a sound foundation of mutual respect, shared values, and friendship, and are also based on our democratic values. These principles will un undoubtedly continue to serve us well into the future, especially in times of global uncertainty. We use our discussion, both our tete a tete and our official talks in the presence of our respective delegations to take stock of the current state of our bilateral relations while also exploring other areas of mutual interest and possible cooperation. And we recognize that the wonderful foundation that exists between our two countries gives rise to enormous opportunities that our two countries should capitalize on. We also witnessed the signing of agreements and memoranda of our understanding, as you correctly said, and this builds on the other agreements that we had signed in the past. We are committed to ensure that the agreements and the memorandum of understanding that we have signed now and in the past will be implemented fully. You and I also took opportunity to discuss the thorny issue between our two countries of visas between South Africa and Kenya with a view of allowing Kenyans to be able to visit South Africa on a free visa basis, that is without having visas. We agreed that indeed Kenyans should be able to visit South Africa without requiring them to have visas and that this dispensation will commence on the 1st of January in 2023 and that our officials will speed up the processes of putting this into effect. And that this dispensation will be available to Kenyans for a 90-day period in a given year, meaning that, yes, can use the 90 days, 10 days, 20 days, or whatever, for the full year, Kenyans will have a full 90 days to be able to visit South Africa. And we will be able to review this and get reports from our ministers within a year and see how this is functioning. This will also be underpinned by other processes that we have agreed should take place, close monitoring of the implementation of this process, and also be able to have a, a return policy of those, as we call them, elements that would be undesirable uh, to be able to be returned uh, to uh, Kenya. And this, in many ways, just strengthens the relationship between South Africa and Kenya, but more importantly, the people-to-people -people contact, because as you and I observed, Kenyans and South Africans have multiplicities of relations, both business, social, uh, communal, uh, at a relatives level. They want to be able to travel, and uh, tourism also between our two countries will be greatly enhanced uh, through this. South Africa and Kenya are confronted by a number of challenges, almost similar challenges of poverty, inequality, and unemployment. Since 2020, this South Africa has been implementing what we crafted as the Economic Reconstruction and Recovery Plan to lift our economy out of a prolonged period of slow growth 
but a period that was also negatively impacted by COVID-19. This is not dissimilar to Kenya's recovery plan with its six core pillars of agriculture, focusing on micro enterprises, small and medium enterprises, housing and settlement, healthcare, and the digital superhighway and the creative economy, as well as the environment and climate change. There are definite opportunities for South Africa and Kenya to share experiences and good practice in the implementation of these various economic opportunities that are given rise to by the plans that we both have adopted.